This video will demonstrate the workflow for single implants. Starting on the patient's page, click on New Case. Select the lab. If you have only one lab, this lab is automatically pre-selected. The order form will appear. Mark the tooth that needs to be restored. Click on the Abutment tab. Then select Abutment or Screw Retain Crown from the Abutment drop-down list. Now select the Implant Brand from the Manufacturer drop-down list. Then select Implant System from the System drop-down list and specify the connection of the platform from the Connection drop-down list. Finally, select the Restoration Material from the Material drop-down list. If you select a Screw Retain Crown, you may also specify a shade at this point. The Emergence Profile Scan is selected by default. This is the recommended workflow due to the ease of use, but you may deselect the Emergence Profile if you prefer to scan only the scan body. Finally, you also have the option to add a pre-preparation scan if needed. Now proceed to the Scan page. If you selected Emergence Scan, you'll now have to perform four scans. Lower Arch, Lower Arch Scan Body, the Upper Arch, and finally, the Occlusion. There are two options to scan the arch with the implant. The first option is to remove the healing cap, dry the area, and scan the Emergence Profile immediately, before the gingiva collapses. Make sure to get the entire area covered well. Then paint the area of the Emergence Profile using the Lock tool. This will freeze the Emergence Profile in its current retracted state, thus preventing it from being updated with later data when the gingiva might have collapsed. Then complete the scan using the official scan strategy. The second option is to leave the healing cap in place and scan the arch following the official scan strategy. Then trim away the healing cap and its immediate surroundings in the scan with the trim tool. Remove the healing cap, dry the area and scan the emergence profile immediately before the gingiva collapses. No matter which method you prefer, make sure that you cover the emergence profile and the contact points in this scan. Verify this by zooming in on the area, turn off colors and rotate the scan. Finally, mark the preparation. You'll see a blue overlay around the preparation mark, indicating the area that will be automatically cut out when going to the scan body page. If necessary, you may reposition the preparation mark to obtain your desired cutout. You may adjust the automatic cutout radius under More, Settings, Trios, Scan Settings, or you may turn it off completely if you prefer to trim manually. Make sure that all of the implant has been trimmed away, as well as the nearby surroundings. Insert the scan body and proceed to the scan body page in the top workflow bar. Start the scanner pointing at a neighboring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move to the scan body and circle around it to scan it from all angles. It is especially important to cover the upper third of the scan body to make it possible for the laboratory to recognize the correct position. When the scan body scan is complete, remove the scan body. Click Next to scan the upper arch as our antagonist, following the official scan strategy. When the upper arch is scanned, move to the bite. Switch to the Analyze page to confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower arch, and optionally, Add some comments or shade measurements. Finally, go to the Send page. After verifying the order, send the order to the lab. You have now learned about the workflow for implant restorations. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.